guys, welcome back to my channel. This is I again. You're watching Stone Cold Coffee Crafts and we have yet another unboxing today. I guess I already pretty much told you this was coming and you know what this is. If you see it, it's another Ever Moment. And this is my order from the Ever Moment OG, so to speak. It's the, the original Ever Moment store, which is owned by Zoe. And I ordered a couple of paintings from that store. Um, judging by the size of the tubes, I am going to say this is the one I bought with a specific purpose in mind, and this is the one I just I bought just for fun because I liked it. So let's start with the just for fun one, shall we? I'm trying to do this with out disguising my address on the other side of the duke this time so i hope i'm not going to show it to you accidentally and we have a cat <laughs> i can She's doing a bit of a stretching exercise and we have one cap that's actually intact and oh god we have a second cap that is intact or well, more or less I think it's starting to but it's it's still intact that's only the second time this has ever happened so and I was right as you can see this is a 40 by 55 centimeter and it has 44 colors I'm absolutely not surprised by that uh, let's have a look inside and let's have Inspector Lola inspect the package. Hey, pussy. <laughs> uh, toolkit, bags, another roll of Evermoment washi tape, and we have a couple bags of beads, and of course, we have a canvas. tube away and this is the image I ordered it's it's just such a pretty image um it just caught my eye and we have a pretty long list of colors because 44 colors is a lot um and it's pretty well spread out Two, five, two, six. Looks like 959 is my main color, but only by about a hundred drills or so. So it's it's pretty pretty diverse as far as colors go. Sounds like fun. So we have our basic ever moment toolkit. We have the pink pen with the purple squishy, the one placer, three placer, we have a six placer, we have two big pieces of wax. We have the tweezers I absolutely adore, and we have the white Mosfa boat with a funnel. Oh, I already showed you the washi tape. I'm counting this to, for as a tool because it, it is a gift, but most of us use the washi tape actually to put down on the overhanging adhesive, so let's count this as a tool. And of course the bag of baggies. Um, I counted these once, and I came up with 50 bags, so I'm assuming that is a standard number, but maybe I'll count again, I don't know. Probably not. <laughs> oh, and there was something I wanted to try this time. Because if you remember my unboxing of the, of the cat, we had a bit of wrinkled adhesive at the ends, that started to bubble and I wanted to try for my next one to see if I could actually do my little ruler press it down thing before lifting the adhesive and see if this changes something. 
do this on both ends. Putting down quite a bit of pressure here. Look at the back of the canvas first and as always, at least for me, I know there have been a few people who had puckers from every moment I never did. And this one is clear once again. <coughs> Sorry about that. Let's lift up the cover paper. And of course I can tell you can't tell you if there were any of these ripples in the glue, but there aren't any right now. That I can tell you. And this looks very pretty. I love all the colors in this one. I can already tell this is going to look so, so good. And let's see if I can... Oh, uh. I think you can see it a bit better. Um, this is the cover paper curling underneath the painting, so this is creating a bit of a bit of a curl. Let's see if we can get that flat. We can. And put that into focus. Yeah, I think you can you can draw, tell pretty well what this is supposed to be. I also think thanks to the glare you can see that there are no whatevers in the glue up there and it's the same for the whole painting actually. Ooh, cat. I love you, but this is a lot of exposed adhesive. Um, the print, as always, crystal, crystal clear. Um, let's show you a close up. I think you can tell it's it's pretty clear. Um, which is a good thing because every moment um, they don't have the most complicated symbols out there, but they have a lot of symbols that are not actually letters or numbers. So you need a clear print or it's going to drive you absolutely bonkers if you do these paintings. At least sooner or later it does this to me. <laughs> And I think we are all always happy if we have either very simple symbols or at least a very clear print. So just pull up this half inch I didn't release at this end. <laughs> She just made a point because I said no to take the root over the table on the windowsill. That's so typically cat. <laughs> and release that one as well. Yeah, I think we actually had the ripples, at least on this side here. I can see them. But they seem to stay down pretty well. So, maybe giving it a bit of pressure before actually lifting it is a good idea. I'll probably have to check this with one of the non-ever moment pa paintings in the future. Drills. Oh, I love it if I look at a bag of drills and all I see is smooth, straight bags. Give you a bit of a close up so you can see what I see. No divots at all. And actually pretty, pretty, pretty colors. Love it. 
several shades of yellow and lots of green. I seem to be on a bit of a green trip right now. <laughs> Don't know what that is, but yep. So let's do a quick inventory. I will as always speed this part up for you so you don't have to sit through it but i know we all like to know if everything is here All right, everything is here. Um, yeah, the one thing I I am not so happy about with Evermoment is that I have to sort the dr drills first um, before I can actually do the inventory because otherwise I will be all over the place. But what I absolutely like is how much they give you. For example, because this is one of the last I did, this is 3855. And I am supposed to have 375 of them. And they gave me a big bag. And I actually took the time over the weekend and I counted how much is in the bags because I was working on another ever moment and I had to refill some of my containers. And I counted a small bag. They tell you on the, on the back of this, that a small bag should contain 160 to 200 diamonds. Um, the one I counted actually had 215. And the big bags are supposed to have 800 to 1000. The one I counted had 860. Um, maybe I will count another one, I don't know, but I, I thought I would do it just for poop and giggles. So I'm supposed to have 375. They gave me a bag that contains between 800 and 1000 drills. So you really don't have to be worried about the amount of drills period with them. Even if you count on the lowest end of what this is supposed to be, you always come out with extra drills. So just fabulous. So this is the first painting. And I'll be back in a moment with the second one. And we are back. The mess has magically disappeared. I wish that would work in real life. <laughs> so the next one. Oh, we didn't talk price for the first one. So this was a 40 by 55 centimeters and I paid 21 euros and 95 cents for that one. So this one but with a purpose in mind. We have been in this apartment for about seven and a half years now. Um, we rent and this is about, I think the time when, when you start to notice that things don't look that pretty any longer. You have to actually do some, some renovation. You have to put a couple new colors of paint on the walls and stuff like that. And for us, it also meant that our improvised coat hanger in the hallway is starting to disintegrate. So we don't really have the space to put up a real coat hanger or anything like that, but we have a wall. Um, no cat? No, 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 no. This is my very expensive computer. Please don't do this. Um, we have a wall and we put some hangers, some coat hooks on the wall directly. And this has never worked very great because I um, bought some very cute vintage hooks and I didn't notice that they only had one hole for a screw. So this was never very stable. And if you put anything on there, the hole started to, to um, get worked too much by the friction and they got bigger and bigger and bigger and then the hooks started to fall off the wall. 
Um, this has happened multiple times now. We have put them back in every time, but of course you have to move the hooks a little bit to the side or up or down um, to drill a new hole, hole. And now we have a lot of holes in that wall and yeah, <laughs> out of six of the hooks, only two are up right now. So we also put a pretty wallpaper on this wall and I'm not ready to let go of that. So we can't just fill the holes up and be done with that. We have to cover them up somehow. So I decided I wanted to put a diamond painting in a frame on um, a wooden backdrop, some kind of, of um, wooden board I'm going to get from the DIY store, uh, cut to size, and then I'm going to actually glue and drill the hooks to this wood base and put the frame with a diamond painting on it as well to make it basically a DIY coat hanger. Um, initially I really 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 wanted to use Sneaky Cat for that because Sneaky Cat is done, Sneaky Cat is gorgeous and I don't know where to put Sneaky Cat. <laughs> but sadly Sneaky Cat is a bit too big. This wall um, it, it is only a meter long so that's about three foot and a little bit. Um, and Sneaky Cat is a meter five, I think. And I did contemplate to cut a bit of Sneaky Cat off, but I just couldn't do it. I really couldn't do it because you have to calculate the frame in, and then you are suddenly at probably 10 to 12 centimeters. You have to cut off this, this image, which is about five inches. No. <laughs> I was not ready to do that. So I went and checked in the Ever Moments stores um, if they had anything I like because I know they sometimes have the wide but narrow paintings and I found one which was really destiny I think. And lo and behold uh, it was even one of the paintings for some previous buyer uploaded a picture of the finished painting in the size I wanted to get so I was pretty sure I was going to love it because I already knew what it looked like. So if you buy something on AliExpress and you finish your painting I would really urge you to take a picture and put it in your review. Well first off I would urge you to review your purchase right away um, you can just give it the stars and not say anything and you can come back later and add to it once you have done the painting But if you run out of time, you will not be able to review it at all So what I usually do when I receive something and it was okay, I um, Confirm that I have received my order and afterwards I give them a rating I know that's not always easy for shops you don't know and you haven't done the paintings yet to decide how many stars you want to give the product because it's it's really hard to judge just based on the unboxing. Um, <clears throat> but I still do it anyway. I mean, you can, if it really turns out crap, then that's, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. But I still, I think it's still better to go back and say, you know what, it looked good upon unboxing, but when I did it, it was actually horrible and maybe provide some pictures. But where I wanted to go with this is, please take some pictures of your finished paintings and add them to your reviews just to help people who are looking at the paintings out because most of the sellers don't provide a mock-up and for sure most of the sellers don't provide a finished version of their painting and this would be really great help. So, and we have another tube that has non-shattered lids. I am ecstatic. <laughs> so this painting is a 30 by 85 and it has 23 colors. That's actually more than I expected from the painting I bought because this is not very colorful at all. <laughs> so another bag of baggies and if you ask me, there's the same amount of baggies. I don't know what you think, but I think it's it's the same amount. So that's why I think that they put 50 baggies in there, no matter what you order, which is very nice of them. And I got another washi tape this time, pink. 
So I now have three different colors of that. I wonder how many there are. Toolkit, same as we've looked at a few minutes ago. So we're not going to go into that again. And then we have drills. Uh, oh, and the painting wants to come out with the drills. All right, are you empty? You are empty. So, and this is the image I got. A house is not a home without a cat. <laughs> I thought that was very fitting and I like the simplistic look of the wood and the plaque for the script and the cats. So I don't expect to be a lot of shading in this part, but from the finished painting I saw the wood grain looked really good. So I think that will fit. And we have one big bag of drills and one small bag of drills. We will look at those later. Hey, beastie. Mm. Yeah, I know. Oh. She's always on. <laughs> okay. Now that we have cat fur flying around, it's the perfect time to open up this painting. Don't you agree? Okay, she doesn't like that noise. Maybe it's the fact that my work phone was just ringing. I'll check that afterwards. I'm actually off the Glock already, obviously. But who knows who that was. So... quite sure yet how much I can show you at once of this, especially with the misses on the table here. But we will try. We will try our best. Ah, and sorry for the glare, I know it's horrible, but I hope you can see it. So the cat, as I already expected, is completely black. There isn't really a lot of shading in it, I didn't expect it either. The script, on the other hand, is not completely black. So what do we have in here? I suspect it will be, yeah, 939 mostly, mixed with some 310 and 3031, which is a very dark brown. Yeah, so the, the paw and the script will be nicely shaded and the cat will be completely black. And I think you can already see that there's a lot of confetti going on in the background. I'll show you it close up in a, in a minute. Um, which will give it hopefully a good wood grain look. Let's hope so. Because this is a painting I bought with a specific purpose in mind, this is also going to be the next one I'll do. Because I want to get this ugly code rack situation fixed as soon as possible. And that means as soon as the pencil painting is done. Um, if you haven't, if you don't follow my Instagram, um, Maybe you want to check that out because I've posted some progress pictures over the weekend 
of my pencil painting from the EM Fun Store, which is another ever moment. I'll give you a gloss up of the confetti heaven and the super clear symbols. And another kitty, all black. <laughs> and he here you can see the mix of black and brown and dark blue. I think it's going to turn out very good. Um, if you don't know what this pencil painting is, check out my Instagram um, at Heart of Eternity DP. It's also mentioned in the description box below. I post progress pictures of everything I work on there. I try to do it on a daily basis. And if you want to stay completely up to date on what I'm up to, that's the perfect place to go. All right. So, drills. Unsurprisingly, all neutral earth tones, browns, grays, greens, dark blues, dark um, dark browns, uh, anything that stands out? No, really not. All very neutral, as expected. Same here. So, let's do some inventory. That should probably be a bit quicker at this time. Still going to speed it up. All right, and again, everything is here. Everything is looking good. What else can I say? Another perfect unboxing forever moment. So yeah, thanks for joining us today. And if you like this unboxing, please give it a thumbs up. Um, if you want to leave me a few words, I would really appreciate that a lot. So leave a comment down below or drop me an email. The address is in the information box. And before I log off, I don't think I have told you what this painting cost. It was 23 euros and 68 cent. Before I forget that again. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm a bit confused today. Um, anyway, guys. Have a great day, have a great week, have a great whatever you're doing, and we will talk to each other very, very soon. Bye-bye.